Hillsong, the Australian-based religious conglomerate, operates in 28 countries with more than 150,000 weekly attendees. It is now in the midst of an explosive scandal. Founder Brian Houston faces charges in an Australian court of covering up the pedophilia of his late father, Frank. One of Frank's victims, age seven at the time of the abuse, says the sexual abuse happened around 1970 and that Frank's son, Brian Houston, knew about it and covered it up. The victim further alleges that he was, quote, raped, choked, and brutalized, close quote. It's also claimed that Frank and later his son Brian tried to buy off the victim with $10,000 in Australian dollars. Brian says the victim insisted years ago that the abuse not be made public. A criminal sentence could put the powerful pastor, Brian Houston, behind bars for five years. Hillsong, as we know it today, grew out of Father Frank's megachurch in the 80s, and at the time, the elder Houston was also head of the Australian Division of the Assemblies of God denomination, a position Brian would later hold. All this comes after Hillsong had to oust celebrity-obsessed Pastor Carl Lentz from his New York City congregation after Lentz admitted to adultery. In Dallas, Hillsong had to close a church due to the pastor's, quote, failure to uphold the standards of Hillsong leadership, end quote. In New Jersey, another Hillsong pastor resigned after texting a photo of himself to a church volunteer while wearing a white exercise paradise with nothing left to the imagination. Some say this and other Hillsong scandals are endemic to the church culture of Hillsong. Perhaps the whole truth isn't known, and we must be careful about judgments without knowing all the facts, especially when the case against Brian Houston has yet to go to court. But some things we do know. Outlandishly extravagant lifestyles of Houston and other church leaders have been documented based on the Hillsong's prosperity gospel message. And more bombs of indiscretion may yet explode. But my concern is this. What's going to be done about all of it? One thing is certain. Deliverance and exorcism is it an option? Brian Houston and Hillsong adamantly oppose the idea of Christians having demons and suffering from generational curses. On my last ministry tour of Australia, the word went out. I was told from the top down that no one in Hillsong leadership would be allowed to cooperate with or attend our meetings. But it's now clear that whatever the final truth is about all of this, there is a demonic problem at Hillsong, especially with the late Frank Houston. And as an exorcist, I can tell you child molestation is demonic. Almost all perpetrators are demon-possessed. Frank Houston needed an exorcism, and the curse may have passed on to Brian Houston. And if he doesn't believe in curse-breaking and deliverance, how will he and Hillsong get free from the curse? I'm not saying that Pastor Houston is like his father, but that the demons of his father are likely at work trying to destroy the good work that Hillsong has done to reach people for Christ. I may not like the way Hillsong does things, and there's a lot of things I disagree with, but as the Apostle Paul commanded in Philippians chapter 1, verses 15 through 18, I praise God where Christ is preached. We must fervently pray for Hillsong during this trying time. Pray that those in the organization who sincerely follow Christ will be granted grace grace and patience for His will to be worked out, and that the leadership of this mega church will wake up to the need of embracing deliverance and casting out demons, especially out of those in power who may be possessed. Your financial support and prayers make it possible for us to bring hope for the hurting and freedom to those in spiritual bondage. For the latest information regarding ministry outreaches, go to boblarson.org or call 303-980-1511.